This is the number two end, uh, which the hood is largely complete. When we got the locomotive, I'm not sure whether it had canvas on it or not. Sorry about that. When we got the locomotive, I don't know whether it had the original canvas on it or not, but at some point pretty early on, tar paper was put over that to cover it. Now this lift, this is the number two hood. Originally it was covered with canvas. Starting up here we could find little traces of the tacks on, on the front. It went down like this over here and around underneath. When we got to uh, work on it, it had been replaced with tar paper. So we pulled that all off. And eventually when the hinges are in here, this will lift up for maintenance. The air compressor is underneath here and that's about all. Uh, okay, I guess that. In order to get into the cab safely, it was very difficult during the winter because we took these handrails off. But now it's not hard at all to get up inside. And if I wanted to walk around to the end of the car, I'd walk on here. Now with the wood there, it's not very good. And you can see it's not very safe anyway. Yeah. In fact, in car 102, the sisters of this locomotive, near the end of its days, they put a slant here to keep you from walking there. <laughs> but 100, as far as we know, didn't ever have it.